Also, I kind of get in. Kind of getting Digimon vibes from <laughs> Skeledurge, but it's fine. Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday, and we are heading into a new area, more or less. I mean, this area is the same, but up there. We're going up there. We've got a lot to do up there. Not as much as Scout had to do, but... <laughs> A lot, nonetheless. This is something. That's something. Scout's pretty far ahead currently. But. Dog. But. Uh, a lot of the stuff that Scout did that is not stuff that we'll be doing. Through, uh, at least not immediately. So. Uh, yeah, which I don't know if I want to keep you in here. I like to do kind of mysterious water around and restores the HP of self and ally Pokemon. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just swap Yip in here. Yeah, so the reason Scout left, which in particular is because one of the upcoming things that we do have coverage for, but like, maybe not like perfect coverage for, uh, that's coming up is the poison group base. That's likely to happen soon. So, it's nice to have another answer for that. Uh, small live, uh, which can probably handle that, right? Which doesn't even have a psychic move. I should probably change that. <laughs> Teach it Psy Beam or something. Also, I give it Heavy Light, because it's got a little bit till it's fully evolved. Also, I just realized it the rule about being on set mode, but um, do any of us really think it was going to make a difference in this fight? <laughs> Which took a single extra hit? Yeah, I don't think so. Alright. Probably should have fought her before we did the gym, but it's fine. Which could use the experience. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, this is the item we got from Scout. It's, 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 it's X defense. Because, I don't know, I'm still... I'm still contemplating. You know, I'm still contemplating exactly what order we do the challenges in now. Because if we do them in a different order than Scout did them, then it's a little weird. But also doing them in the same order is going to be uh, kind of tough. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to see. Uh, OK, yeah, let's see what you can. OK, you can have confusion, which is good. What's Aromatic Mist do? Boost special defense of an ally Pokemon. I think I'd rather not have that. Uh, okay. Uh, but also, I think maybe we have Psy Beam for a TM. We do. Uh, any other Psychic TMs? Mm, psychic Terrain. I... I, I never really got my head around the psychic move or the terrain moves, I should say. They're probably quite useful and competitive, but like casual, you, you, I'm fairly certain you don't need them at all. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's that. Uh, I'm pretty sure as soon as we get right about 
here. And then this is all stuff that we've explored before. So, uh, small if. Did not mean to run into small if. It's fine. We have a stab move now. We're fine. And Evie Light. All right. Let's go up the hill. Let's go up the hill. But first, I'm going to heal because, you know, slight took slight amounts of damage. Ah, dang it. Nope. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, I'm slightly concerned. I'm slightly concerned that this series may turn out to be uh, less interesting than I hoped. Because if we look, if we look at our levels, you know, um, unless we start doing things differently, I don't think we're going to have, you know, it's, it might not be enough of a challenge. Even, even with rules like, you know, faint, Pokemon faints, it dies. So, we'll see. I don't know that I'll add any rules. It's the weird thing, the weird thing about these games is that things can very easily spike in difficulty depending on how you go about them. Like, yes, we're stomping things right now, but... We, there, there will come a point where we run out of the easy stuff, you know? And with the way experience works in this game, how you get less for the higher level you are, uh, there is a chance. There's a chance that the, uh, the enemy's levels catch up. The wild Pokemon and the trainers, gym leaders, all them. There's a chance that they catch up. Just because, you know, we're not going to be getting a ton of experience from battles. On account of just doing a crap ton of battles. Uh, yes, I think in this area. This area is probably a decent challenge for like let's check what's this knack we level 15 yeah so this is a decent challenge for which but the rest of the party they're kind of just doing whatever they want yo wind power yep you can't tell from this spot but um once you get up the hill that's where the wind power comes into play. I don't even know. I don't even know how which evolves or when which evolves. Because, as I've mentioned before, I only played through a gen one and a half times. There is another playthrough that I plan on doing, or not necessarily plan on doing, but I kind of want to do for 8th gen. And it's not something I'll do on the channel. So I guess I could probably ch share it. So I'm probably not doing it on the channel and I'm probably not doing it on stream. Uh, it's a, okay, well maybe I, I might, but you know what, if I, if I, if I give you, if I give, if I put the idea out there and someone steals it, then that'll demotivate me from doing it on stream and I'll just do it myself. <laughs> so the idea is that I want to put together a team that will earn me as much money as possible so that I can buy all the clothes in the game. <laughs> because the most expensive thing in these games, in these recent Pokemon games, is clothes. <laughs> 
and getting all the clothes is normally would take you quite a bit. Like you'd have to grind a lot. But if you if you optimize, you know. Specifically, I'm picking 8th gen because I think it's the only generation where you can get six Pokemon, a party of six different Pokemon with pickup. <laughs> and pickup, you know, will be will be handy cuz you know, your Pokemon will be picking up items that will be picking up items that you can sell. So that's pretty neat. Um, have I missed anything? I have. There's a TM down here. For agility. Don't step on the mud bray. Don't really want to fight that. They really do just like to stick Charcadet in these little quarters, don't they? Tuck it away, where it can't be seen. I mean, I get it. It's supposed to be kind of rare, but... Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. You can go around there and then come back through here. That seems fine to me. Yeah, and, um... Oh wait, have we fought you? Oh, okay. Let's fight you then. You should have type advantage here, if I remember correctly. Yep. That's a fighting type for sure. Okay, well that's just annoying. That's just a waste of time. Okay, that's good though. Might kill itself next turn. It hit yourself. Nice. <laughs> ah, that's good. Love to see it. said I already mastered yeah obviously not um, okay just, just make it true I've also had the thought now oh, oh it's a caps kid uh, oh yeah something super effective does it uh, well, it's probably not gonna kill at this point yeah yeah now we're good What was my other thought that I had? Oh yeah, um, other thought that I had is, uh, there's a possibility that Scout actually gets too far ahead? At which point, you know, it's, it's an interesting problem to have. I didn't want to fight you. It's fine. Uh, probably switch uh, to Groucho. And if that happens, I still need to figure out what I'm going to do. But uh, if that happens, we might just end up... Because here's the thing, a lot of the items we're picking up with Troopa aren't super useful, especially at this point in the game. So we might just uh, cut down on the running around grabbing items part. That could also help with the potentially being over leveled thing. Son of a... Almost as bad as the rookity. I should have healed Witch. She would have been able to handle it if... I did, but, um, 
unfortunately. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And you know what? It'll probably still be fine. Next time. But, as for this episode, that's a wrap. Could also make episodes longer or shorter.